Civilised Mutaru Copper Cobalt Project lies about 40 kilometres west of Broken Hill and it's all semi-arid sheep grazing country. The mineralised load at Mutaru uh, outcrops at the surface and it's shown here by this broken red line. The load's clearly defined by a series of old mine shafts which are dotted along this line and it runs in a roughly north-south direction for about 2.1 kilometres. Uh, we're at Havilar's uh, Mutaru Copper Cobalt Project. It was uh, mined uh, by the old timers between 1887 and 1914 and they were the people who dug all these shafts here. They were after this uh, rich uh, secondary copper ore, the malachite, you can see here in bright green colour and they hand-picked the better grades of this material, bagged it and put it on mule trains and ox carts and sent it down to Burra. Now when they dug down through this secondary copper ore, uh, they hit sulphide, the primary sulphides underneath and they, they couldn't deal with that at that time and so they just left it on the surface and you can see on this shaft uh, dump here behind us all these pretty colours and that's the sulphides oxidising and breaking down. Uh, these old workings dug by the old timers uh, follow the sulphide, the outcrop of the sulphide load which extends for about two kilometres strike length. So when Havilar took this project over, one of the first things we noticed when we loaded the drilling data into the Vulcan 3D software was the almost complete absence of shallow drilling. There were some deeper diamond drill holes uh, that had been drilled by Broken Hill South in the late 1960s but the top 200 metres had never had a drill hole in it. So as a result uh, we then proceeded to drill the top 200 metres of this uh, load with our RC drilling rig and we were very pleasantly surprised to intersect wide zones of massive sulphide ore within about 50 metres of the surface and it occurred as a whole series of lenses. So after we drilled about 206 uh, RC holes and 44 diamond holes, we had established a jorp measured, indicated and inferred resource of roughly 13 million tonnes, running about 1.48% copper, uh, with also appreciable uh, cobalt credits and some gold as well. Uh, this is an example of the massive sulphide ore that we intersected at Mutaru roughly 30 metres below the surface. Now it's comprised of several sulphide minerals, chalcopyrite here, this yellow mineral, which is the chief source of copper, uh, pyrite, which has up to 4% cobalt, and pyrotite, which is another form of iron sulphide. And this particular interval here is running about 2.5% copper and about 0.25% cobalt. Now interestingly, this massive sulphide ore also contains about 35% sulphur by weight. So if you uh, roast this particular sulphide material, it's a self-generating reaction. It uh, generates a lot of electricity and uh, you can form sulfuric acid and you're left with a residue called calcine uh, from which you can leach out the copper and the cobalt. And it so happens that this calcine residue is quite high grade iron ore, it runs about 65% iron ore. So if we can find a smelter that can treat this material, uh, this uh, sulphide ore from Mutaru would represent uh, a high value direct shipping ore. So the uh, sulphide ore zone that we were targeting with our drilling actually dips back underneath us here at about 45 degrees. So consequently all of our drilling was out in this area here and we've drilled over a length of about 700 metres of strike from right through here and uh, we've actually defined this sulphide zone over 700 metres. Now that's only about a third of the strike length that continues on for, for about another 1.5 kilometres in that direction and we haven't drilled that as yet. Now uh, this is an outcrop of the ironstone or gossen that uh, sits on top of the main sulphide ore body. At this location we're about 300 metres from our last drill hole. Now we've never drilled uh, under here to test the sulphide zone 
So all of this remains um, uh, potential for new discovery. And not only that, the uh, sulphide load continues on down here for another one and a half kilometres, as you can see from all the, uh, the old workings. And we haven't actually done any drilling on any of this area as yet. Thank you.